close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest Morning guys, welcome to the start of another vlog. So today it is Saturday and the time is 11.08. Um, and I thought I would come into the bedroom to do my intro today because not gonna lie, Felix has been stressing me out this morning. In fact, he's been so attitude-y and moody and demanding lately. It is probably like the terrible twos in full force, but yeah, Nick's watching him right now in the lounge room so I can talk to you guys this morning. But uh, this weekend, we don't have much planned at all. I'm sure most of you don't due to obvious reasons. We do have to go out to the supermarket to get a few essentials. I also need to post a parcel back before the post office closes. And Nick wants to go to Kmart um, to get a nightlight for Felix because tonight is the night he hopefully will move into his big boy bed and we want to make sure that he has a nightlight on that will stay on all night in case he wakes up in the middle of the night and gets scared. He does actually have a nightlight already but um, it only stays on for 40 minutes so I don't know what would happen if he woke up after 50 minutes and it was dark you know what I mean so we'll probably keep that one still because it's cute but we definitely want a second one so um, in order to keep Felix safe we will be taking turns going into the shops so nick will go into kmart to get this night light and he won't be long because he's not one to hang around in kmart and browse like i do so it's probably better we do it that way and then i will go into coles and go into the post office and then we're coming straight back home because there's still a few things i want to do in felix's room i need to put away all of his uh, clothes and stuff because obviously we needed to empty out his drawers to move them into his room from our room so it wasn't so heavy and all of that. And I need to like sort out what's too small and that kind of thing. But I will be taking you guys in there today so you can have a look. His bed has been set up for like a week. Felix has seen it too and he's like so excited. He's got a new TP in there now. I found a TP guys. It's so cute. Um, and yeah, the reason why he hasn't actually spent the night in there yet is because I'm still at work. I'm working every day still. I'm a childcare worker, so we're classed as essential. Um, we wanted to both be home and not have to worry about anything on his first night in his big boy bed, um, just for a smoother transition. So tonight is the night. Hopefully it goes well. Um, I'm actually really nervous. I'm going to miss him so much in our bedroom. But I know he's only like down the hall a bit and we will have our monitor on and ready to go. So, and that's what we're doing today. It's so, so sad right now. I, I don't even know how I'm feeling half the time with this virus. It's just a very scary time to be alive right now. So we all really need to be looking after ourselves and staying home as much as we can um yeah and the only time we're going out is to go to work or to go get essentials and then any other time we are at home um and yeah keeping our distance obviously when we are out in public i do have a really exciting parcel to open today i got the mystery box from discount beauty boutique so we'll open that together a little bit later on so anyway i will see you all very soon Daddy. Where's Daddy? Yeah. No, he's not. He's in the shops going to get you a nightlight, mate. What is it Yeah. So we are back at home now. By the way, I'm not wearing makeup because I kind of figure, what's the point? We're not doing anything this weekend, really, other than like homey stuff. Uh, we did go to Coles and Kmart and took turns going in. So Felix did not have to leave the car today. 
so uh it didn't really matter if i had makeup on or not because i mean it's just coles and kmart i didn't even go into kmart but uh we got most of our supplies so i checked the first supermarket when i went to the post office so i went to our more local one and then after that we went to kmart which is also connected to another supermarket and nick went into that one uh he checked kmart for the night lights for felix's bedroom and he did find one but he actually didn't end up buying it because he was saying that the line up to the self-serve cash register it was so so long he would have been there for about 20 minutes and nobody was like keeping their distance from one another uh the line was like quite compact like nobody was really caring about giving each other space so he did not want to risk that and he just left and i'm really thankful he did he actually found a nightlight in the supermarket next door anyway. This one here is just, I'll show you, just a boring looking one. It says on the front, the directional nightlight by the brand Crest. This should stay on all night. So if Felix wakes up in the middle of the night, he uh, won't wake up in the pitch black and be scared. So now is the time I'm going to open this parcel in front of me. Uh, this is from Discount Beauty Boutique. I got a uh, mystery box, so I have no idea what is inside this. I thought it would be a bit of fun and even more exciting to open this on uh, camera so I can do it with you guys. It says handle with care, don't drop, fragile, so hopefully I've got my money's worth, hey? Alright guys, Nick is holding my camera for me. So, um, I've got all these weird potato gem thingies everywhere. Um, and we're just gonna go for it. So the first thing here is, oh god, I'm not gonna wear this. So we have a uh, pressed eyeshadow, and it's purple, and it's by Suva Beauty. I mean, like maybe for Halloween, but purple is like one of the hardest colors to blend out. So I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, okay, lipstick. Um, this is by the brand Cara Beauty and this is in the shade, oh my god, please look, it's a green shade, oh my god, no way, it's called, um, hang on, yeah, it's called Pleased. I'm just going to open it and ha actually have a look, it can't be green surely. Okay, it's like a, is that a lip, liquid lip? No, no, liquid eyeshadow. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy, okay. Still probably won't use it. What's this? Got to read it properly this time. So this is from Jared Cosmetics and this is a liquid lipstick. I would wear that. You know I'd wear that. I like the whole bold lip. So it's like a deep purple color. I would just swatch it. Yeah, I'd wear that. Have a look. Yeah, I would definitely wear that, wouldn't I, babe? And that would look so cute with a beanie. So we have some loose setting powder in the shade Vanilla. Ooh. So this is from uh, the brand LA Girl, uh, which you can buy in town, actually. Um, this is their Mega Mascara. I do love a good mascara. I just hope it's not waterproof because I hate waterproof mascaras. What else is in here? Oh, my gosh, Nick. I needed a new one of these, didn't I? I got a beauty blending sponge by the brand Beauty Creations. I just hope it's a good one and not one of those, like, crappy ones you get from Kmart. Model Rock Lashes. Do they come with glue? What else have we got in here? What is this? Ah. It's cute. It's pink. I mean, I don't really need a eyelash curler, but this one's prettier than the one I've already got, so. Oh, okay. So this must be like the best part. Oh, wow. <gasps> Ooh. It's all wrapped up all nicely. Okay. Okay, so here we have, what brand is this? Oh, Wet n Wild. I love Wet n Wild. And this is a liquid highlighter. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And it's in the shade Goddess Glow. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest eyeshadow palette ever. I don't really need another eyeshadow palette. Let's be real here. But, oh my gosh, I have to open it up. Ooh, 
very pretty, very nice. And this is by the brand Amoris. I think I said that correctly. So guys, here is a little overview of what I got out of my mystery box. So we've got a uh, beauty blending sponge by Beauty Creations. We've got a really cute pink uh, eyelash curler from Princess USA. I've got a, a liquid highlighter by Wet n Wild. I've got a loose setting powder here by the brand Amoris. Then I've got, what's down here? I've got a... Uh, liquid eyeshadow by the brand Cara Beauty. Um, it's a very, uh, I don't know if I'm going to use that color to be honest, but we might use it for Halloween. See how we go. Same with this purple pressed powder, um, but that's by the brand Suva Beauty. Then I've got a mascara here by uh, LA Girl. I'm definitely going to try that because I like the brand LA Girl. Um, then we've got a uh, matte lipstick here by uh, Jared Cosmetics and it's like a really deep purple shade and then finally I've got this beautiful eyeshadow palette by the brand Amoris and it's called Cake Pop. There are the beautiful colors. There is still plastic film over the top and I can't remove it right now because it's like stuck to it with sticky tape but there's a lot of glitters in there and mattes and shimmers. So that is everything and I'm like super excited to have a play around especially with this eyeshadow palette. Hey Felix. Hey mom. How you doing? Hey guys, so <laughs> it is the next day, so it's Sunday, isn't it, Felix? And it's raining outside, so it's pretty dark in here because of the rain. And I thought I would do a quick little room tour of Felix's bedroom. Uh, I don't think it's quite finished, to be honest. I still want to buy a few more things to add to it, but this is what we have at the moment. And Felix. Felix uh, spent his first night in his big boy bed last night, didn't you, babe? Did you sleep in your bed last night, Felix? He loves being in here, guys. Um, he was actually totally fine. He slept all the way through, and this morning when we heard him on the monitor, he was really happy, so... We shouldn't have any problems. So, first of all, I've got a, a plastic tub full of clean washing that I need to fold and put it in Felix's drawers. Behind the door here is Felix's nappies and his wipes. I like it behind the door because it's not... <laughs> Thanks, babe. I like these things behind the door because they aren't the first thing you see when you walk in because who really wants to see nappies when you first walk into a bedroom? Okay, so over at the back here, I've got a uh, laundry basket. I got that from uh, Kmart. I think it was like $15. Now over in this corner here, we have Felix's nightlight. That'll activate when it's dark. It's also attached to his monitor, which is all the way up here, pointing towards Felix's bed, if you can see all the way up there. And on the other side of that PowerPoint, I have a PowerPoint cover, so Felix can't stick anything thing in there but this area is also going to be where his heater goes mm -hmm. now I want to explain to you guys that this heater we've got for his room it is a portable one so you can move it around but it's also quite safe uh, for children um, so obviously it heats the room but if you touch the outside of it it won't burn you but despite that we've also made the decision to have the heater on for maybe an hour or so before he goes to sleep and then just as we put him down we're going to be unplugging it and removing it it out of the room just so he's not unsupervised in a bedroom with a heater over here we have felix's big boy bed felix come and show your big boy bed come and show everyone your big boy bed Big boy bed. <laughs> so this bed is actually, it's so cute guys. It is a secondhand bed. Whoa, careful Felix. Um, it's a beautiful navy color, but it looks so good against this blue wall. I didn't show you guys the wall. Isn't it nice? So this is the feature wall. 
And the Duna cover that I bought, it's a single one obviously. I got this from Harris Scarf, I think. And I was so excited when I seen this gorgeous uh, koala pillow from Kmart. Uh, Emma over here, she was from Target, I believe. Uh, she was also a Christmas present, I think. And then this mink blanket at the end here, Felix's bed, that was just from Kmart. But as it gets colder, as winter approaches, we're gonna have to get him a thicker blanket because this is just not warm enough he'll probably just use that in his TP. what are you doing to the mat babe Rats. this is your bear rug yeah. so this rug i think was from spotlight i did get it ages ago but it's super super soft Rats. over in the corner here We've got Felix's bedside table. This is from Mocha, so the little cupboards here open really easily. They don't hurt his fingers. He's already put one of his cars in there. And the bottom one is exactly the same, but there's more cars in there because I let Felix go and get toys out of his playroom and start putting them in here himself because this is his bedroom and he should be allowed to decorate it um, how he likes, although I did start arranging the bookshelf myself. Um, but on top of here, we've just got Felix's very first teddy he ever owned. Hang on, Felix, you're blocking my light, babe. This, Felix, <laughs> Felix, please don't. This is Basil, this is Felix's very first teddy bear. And um, he's just sitting up here. Felix, you're blocking all the light, honey. Okay. All right, put Basil over there. Anyway, um, basically, I did have Felix's original night light sitting on here, but it's one that has to plug into the wall. And the only other PowerPoint, um, other than the one over there that's being used, is right behind the bed, and it's really close to the mattress. I'm not game enough to use it. I don't like the idea of having a, an extension cord running underneath his bed. That's just my paranoia. So I've removed it. I really wish that that nightlight was battery operated, but it's not. So I think it might just end up in Felix's playroom because there's nowhere else to put it. Over here, we've got some, excuse me. For me. Excuse me. <laughs> How about we open up your box? We've got some storage baskets. I'll just stand up. I'll sit here. So um, that koala one there is just from Kmart. And as I just said before, I've let Felix just grab some toys out of his playroom and start filling up these storage baskets. So he's got stuff to do when he wakes up. These two, whoa, that's bright. Woohoo. Um, these two uh, storage baskets here are from Next. Next is one of my favorite websites ever. So he's just got some more toys in there. Okay, so over here is Felix's bookshelf. You might recognize this bookshelf from my nursery tour because it used to be white, but I asked Nick really nicely if he would sand it back and paint it blue for me so it would look good in Felix's bedroom, and he did that, so he is awesome. Uh, I better address the fact that it's in front of a door, hey? So behind this door is literally a room full of just old stuff from when Nick's family used to live here just stuff that we don't need. I don't like going in there because that room is just, it's kind of creepy to be honest. We have no purpose to go in there. I have a feeling it's also haunted. So I like the idea of it being blocked off. It actually used to be Nick's old bedroom. There's also like a lot of um, stuff that needs to be repaired in there. So it's literally just a room of stuff that we're storing in there that we don't need. And also there wasn't really a spot for this bookshelf other than over here because it is a corner one which makes it a little bit more challenging but I think it looks really cute so I'll just show you guys what I've done so I've stuck this photo of Felix and I at the zoo to the window of the door here and then he's got his little FJ as well I wasn't allowed to stick anything to the walls because obviously they've been freshly painted but this door is really old and hasn't actually been touched so that's okay well it should be Nick said it was fine um, then over here, we've got just a few little teddies and stuff. Felix's dinosaur. I've got uh, Felix's rainbow light. So we can use this as a night light, but it does need batteries and they do run out really quickly. Whoa, that is so bright. Isn't that pretty, Felix? So that's his rainbow light. That'll keep him feeling safe and happy if he needs extra light in the room at nighttime. But the fairy lights actually do a pretty good job by themselves. I just switched them on in here. Whoa. And then they look really pretty. 
So um, the rainbow light, by the way, that was from Kmart. What else do I need to tell you guys? Um, all the teddies and stuff, I think that were just gifts. And we've got some more books. These are really cute pair, uh, what are they called? The um, bookshelf thingies. Oh my gosh, my mind has gone blank. But you know those things that hold books in place? They came from Catch of the Day. In this basket here, we've got uh, some magnetic shapes, which he loves to play with. Now, if you watched my last vlog, you would know that I was looking for a TP. I finally found one that was affordable because a lot of them these days are so expensive. But I found this one here on Catch of the Day. And it's super cute. It's got like colored stars all over it. What's inside your TP, Felix? Okay. <laughs> What's inside your TP? What's in here? Have you got Cookie Monster? So we've got Cookie Monster, he was a gift. We've got uh, that pillow at the back, the monster, that was from Spotlight, I think. Can't remember where this gray guy is from. It's over here. There's your Santa pillow. Santa, he came from Kmart when it was around Christmas time. Are you comfortable, Felix? Mm. Yeah? Then this uh, really soft rug Felix is lying on. This came from Kmart. I absolutely love it. By the way, guys, I forgot to tell you, well, I think I did, those um, magnetic shapes in that little basket there, they were from Kmart. I also want to buy Felix some more of them. Um, what else do I need to show you guys? Yeah. What else do we need to show everyone, Felix? Yeah. Over here is his like nappy change station, um, nothing too exciting really, um, and his drawers that we keep all of his clothing. I am definitely going to be doing potty training with him this year sometime. Not too sure when, but we are prepared. I've already bought his potty, but obviously we're still going to need his nappy change station for now. So on this wall, we've got this super cute little canvas up here with a fire truck on, on the other side we've got uh, a little canvas of dinosaurs so the one with the fire truck that was from spotlight this one over here is or was from coal so that I think was only about three dollars not even I'm um, kidding um, and then finally I am running out of breath finally this beautiful alphabet wall hanging came from mocha all right guys I think I might wrap up the vlog here but be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below if you are new and we'll see you in our next video Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.